Putin hoped his allies would be more forthcoming in providing additional aid for his campaign, but that sadly quickly went to pot. So, he gathered a meeting of his ministers and aides to discuss another strategy for recruiting men into the armed forces. We now check in to see how that meeting is going. Gentlemen, clearly you're all idiots. All of you. I could run this entire country single-handedly if I could. The aides look at each other. Eh, uh, Mr. President? Yes, Mikhail. I may have an idea. Well, out with it. You know how the Ukrainian fighters have been able to draw Westerners into the ranks? Well, most of them are Ukrainians living abroad who have decided to come back to help their country. Yes, yes. Sir, we have Russians living abroad. Why don't we just get them to join the cause? The Russian, for God's sakes! Hey, yes, that is correct. There are millions of Russians living abroad. If they know how much the fatherland is in trouble, they too will rush to our aid. And they're super rich too, so they can get more of those cool James Cameron drones. And so the call went out for all Russians abroad to return home to help the cause. However, the response hasn't been as expected. We see a government official standing in the terminal with a sign. He looks around and sighs. Oh, shit. So they went to plan B. Uh... Hello? Uh, yes, is, is this Viktor Braslinovich? Uh, yeah, but uh, I go by Vic Braslin. Who is this? Oh, um, I am calling because your uncle has recently passed away and there are no immediate relatives and we need you to come to Russia to help settle his affairs. Okay. Well, listen, Mr. Nitolov. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, Mr. Nitolov, I'd love to come and settle my uncle's estate, but I'm pretty busy. Plus, I don't know if you're aware of this, but no one's allowed to go in or out of Russia. But isn't it important to settle your uncle's affairs? Where's my uncle located? Uh, what? Where is my uncle located? And what's his name? Oh, well, he's in... Ha. Huh. Right. Shit. Hello, Speedy Matt. How can I help you? Uh, hi, is this uh, Nikolai Fyodor uh, Vlasinovsky? Uh, yeah. Who's asking? Hi, this is... Um, the local Orthodox priest from your old neighborhood. How are you? What? Yes, I was calling because your uncle Daniel has died and he left no immediate family members and we uh, need you to come home right now to settle his affairs. Look, I don't know what this is, but fuck you. I ain't got no Uncle Daniel. I ain't orthodox anymore, and I sure as hell am not sending you a million bucks. I don't know if this is the latest in scam calls or whatever, 
but you can screw off and eat a giant bag of dicks. Got it? As he hangs up, the aide looks to see a few soldiers standing there. Oh, man. With that fizzling out, the government resorted to other means. We see a group of ministers standing over a large map. Right, uh, here's what we do. We build a wall. A large wall along the borders to prevent people from escaping because if those rats try to escape and they see the, the wall, they will have no choice but to turn back and join the army. Yes? Uh, say, so how exactly do we build this wall? Bah, we just get a bunch of people to build the wall. However, this didn't pan out too well either. 